Hello everybody and welcome to episode 1 of the Pro Evolution Soccer Euro 2020 series and we're going to be England and we're taking on Croatia, Scotland and the Czech Republic in our group. The groups have been done as realistically as possible. Obviously we don't know everybody who's qualified because of the postponement through Covid but uh, yeah let's get into it as uh, it loads up you get a nice little graphic. I've done a little demo but uh, yeah it's really nice. I really enjoy it actually. I've turned the music off in the background so that we don't get copyright strike striked, but I'm hoping the footage doesn't either. But it's it's good to see Provo doing something like this for once. Normally they're just not this good with animations, to be honest. But I assume this is gonna be the official Euros intro that they then do on uh, when it happens in twenty twenty one, I guess. But yes, we're into it. There is England. We're playing Croatia in the first match day. Um, this is the squad I've gone for. I have changed it up a little bit. So uh, we've got... You're, sorry, I'm just going to have to do this for my OCD. Uh, um, there we go. So we've got the goalkeepers, Pickford, Butland and Heaton. Uh, defenders, we've got Michael Keane, Alexander-Arnold, Luke Shaw, wan Saka, Harry Maguire, John Stones and Ben Chilwell. Um, across the midfield, Henderson, Harry Winks, Oxlade-Chamberlain, Eric Dyer, Loftus-Cheek, Madison and Ali. And then the striking options, Sterling, Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford, Jack Grealish, Sancho and Tammy Abraham. Now, we've got people that aren't feeling too great for this game, so I'll bring on Deli Alley um, in there. Uh, Wan-Bissaka will actually not start. Likely he won't start in real life either. So we'll go for that, I think. And then that will be our starting lineup for the game against Croatia, and we'll see you then. So here we are then in Rome for the opening game of the Euro 2020 competition. England v Croatia. And it should be a good one as well. Harry Kane, Luka Modric. It should be a very interesting tie between these two teams. I'm excited. And it's good, again, good to see Provo doing stuff like this. It's really, really good to see it. It's what we want to see more of, Konami. This has got a really challenged FIFA on the visuals and everything like that it's a great game graphically it's a good game to a degree in terms of playing just make the computer have more shots that don't go on target every single time but there is Croatia singing the national anthem proudly they haven't got all the faces because that's a generic face right there there's Vid Vida I think that guy is Vida there is little Luka Modric captaining the team Croatia singing loud and singing proud for the national anthem Good on them. Good on them. And you can see the fans in the background loving it as well. Perisic is there. This will be. This is our toughest game of the group. Easily. Easily our toughest game of the group. So let's see how we get on. Now it should be time for the English National Anthem. God save the Queen and all that. I should probably be singing along. Jordan Henderson in there. Jordan Henderson looks very good graphically to be honest. Trent has got a bit of a strange shaped face. John Stones, Pickford, Harry Kane leading the line. If you're watching my Spurs save, let's hope he's uh, A, going to score more goals than he does in that, in Football Manager, and that he's going to uh, not end up at right back like he did for me in Football Manager. But yes, there we go. Well done, boys. Well done. National Anthem completed. The game's ready to get underway. And, uh, well, here we go. We're, we're having a bit of an attacking fullback strategy. We want Alexander-Arnold and, and Ben Chilwell to get forward, and, and talking of which, Alexander-Arnold's going straight forward here, and he's giving it straight into Ben Chilwell as well, who's all left foot, but into Harry Kane. Is he offside? He wasn't. He wasn't offside. Early chance wasted for England. Croatia trying to play, play, trying to play the ball around. I keep thinking the referee's one of my players when he stands in the sun. It's very annoying. But a wasted pass there from Croatia. Chilwell into Harry Maguire. Oh, that was let Chamberlain. A bit of a surprise call up for many in the England squad, but a good work ethic if he can keep away from his injuries, then uh, he can be a useful player for this England team as John Stones tries to release Ben Chilwell. Sees the run of Alley but can't pick the pass off. And uh, well, Delhi Alley has now picked the ball up. In it goes to Rashford. Chilwell on the overlap. Tries to put the cross in towards Harry Kane, but it's headed away really well. England starting well in this game. Delhi Alley wins the ball back in. Croatia territory again. Cuts it back, looking for Oxlade Chamberlain, who fancies a shot from range. Oh, not par, not far past the post. 16 minutes in, 
And uh, that's the first real effort of note and just past the post. Box Lane Chamberlain driving forward again. Looks to release Raheem Sterling. Sterling into the box. Shoots. Oh, 1-0 England. A ferocious finish from Raheem Sterling. Get in there. Come on. We go 1-0 up against Croatia. A lovely, lovely finish. Oxley chamberlain here had space to run into. Pick the pass. And then Sterling, well, wasn't going to miss this. Right-footed, absolute wallop of a shot past the goalkeeper. 1-0 England. That's what we like to see. So it comes around here. Oxley chamberlain picks the pass. And Raheem Sterling just rifles it into the roof of the net. Lovely finish. 1-0 England. Now, obviously, we do have to remember that in the World Cup semi-finals, England went 1-0 up against Croatia and subsequently threw it away. So let's hope the same doesn't happen in this game as uh, Vlasic on the side. Once of, uh, I think he might still be at Everton, actually. Oh, that's the referee, Dave. Perisic gets the ball now on the left-hand side for Croatia. Gets around the tackle. Volkswagen and Perisic still going. Gets a shot off and it's deflected wide. I think that's a corner. Good hold-up play up front. Perisic picked it up. Got round the challenge of Oxley chamberlain who uh, went a bit too too fast into the tackle but yeah it was deflected wide and it is a corner much to Perisic's annoyance it's going to be Rakitic to swing this one in towards the back post Chilwell gets ahead on it not the best clearance it's brought down though Perisic is there again turn shoots and that's 1-1 and Perisic has got a goal back for Croatia 1-1 26 minutes gone and Perisic with a wonderful finish finish pass there Jordan Pickford 1-1 here at the Stadio Olimpico in Rome the Croatian fans are going absolutely crazy. Perisic with a lovely finish. We'll see it again here. Header away by Chilwell. Fell to him on the edge. Got a good touch. Perisic turns, gets loses the defender. And a great finish from the Croatian. 1-1. Trent Alexander-Arnold trying to get England off and running straight away as it's cleared away well. Dele Alley. It gets beaten in the air by Luka Modric. Not something you'd uh, expect to happen fairly often in this game. Good defending though. Well back. Trent Alexander-Arnold tries to pick the pass out to Deli Alley. Deli Alley finds Rashford. Rashford invites Chilwell forward, but he takes a heavy touch, and it's good defending up to Vlasic for Croatia. But uh, that should be quite easily read by Harry Maguire, and is. And uh, England hold on to possession. Here comes uh, Jordan Henderson. Picks it up into Harry Kane, who can't quite get the ball. It's cleared away. And, uh, well, Perisic with a good ball up to Petkovic. But John Stones reads the danger well. Feeds the ball out to Ben Chilwell. Chilwell turns. He needs to get on that left foot for a cross, but lays it back. Oxley chamberlain Raheem Sterling. Harry Kane. Can he turn? Harry Kane still on the ball. Lays it off. Alexander-Arnold. In it goes. Headed away. It's come to the edge of the box. Here's shot. Oh, Deli Alley. Verocious effort. But he goes past the post. Harry Kane did well, just could have got a shot off, but laid it off to Trent Alexander-Arnold. The header away was not the best, and Ali had a volley not far wide. Sterling picks up the ball, gets around Luka Modric, feeds it into uh, Oxley chamberlain bit of space. There's a shot, and again, just past the post, and that takes us to half-time, where the teams go in at 1-1. Goals from Sterling and Perisic make this a very even game in Rome, and we'll be back for the second half. No changes for either team at half-time as uh, Croatia get the second half underway. A very entertaining start to the group games for England and Croatia. Obviously, the two teams will basically know whoever wins this game, if there's a winner, will be guaranteed to be going through looking at the uh, other oppositions in the group as Croatia come forward. But Chilwell intercepts that one really well, and we need to get going now. Henderson, Oxlane Chamberlain, Harry Kane. Now it goes to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Tries to put a cross in, but it's very well blocked there by uh, Luka Modric, who's done a lot of defensive work today, weirdly, for Croatia. Harry Kane trying to pressure the ball, nearly got in the way of it as well. Uh, he will get it back now, as there's a run on there. Oh, I couldn't quite pick out Marcus Rashford. He's in acres of space. His pace would have got him away from the defenders. As it goes through, decent tackle to stop Perisic up, but he has a shot. Pickford makes the save. Offside, surely referee. It's got to be offside. It looked offside, but no. The flag stays down and Croatia for, take a 2-1 lead through Vlasic. He gets his first goal of the competition. Sluga Zappi in goal. That looks so far offside. It looked offside. Ball came in. Oh, it's Ben Chilwell keeping him on. It's a lovely finish and Ben Chilwell kept him on side. 2-1 Croatia. Bloody hell. 
Got it all to do now. Croatia on the attack again. It's a decent run. Ball into the middle. There's a shot and it's gone past the post. It remains 2-1, but England are all at sea. So it's good play from Croatia. Fizzed it out to the left-hand side. Back in the middle shot. Just goes past the post. Pickford was, uh, well, nowhere near it. First substitution of the game for England. Then Oxlade-Chamberlain. He's had a good performance, but he's replaced by Jack Grealish for a little bit more flair, you would imagine, in this England team as they get a free kick given away by Luka Modric. Ball goes in. Raheem Sterling's under it, but Vida wins the header. It comes out. Marcus Rashford tries a shot. Blocked. It's not kept alive by England, though, and Croatia have a chance to break. And they go through here into Pekovic. Out to Luka Modric. Leovac. Right back. Up it goes to Luka Modric again. Gets the wrong side of Harry Maguire. Ball goes in. There's a header, and it'll be a corner to Croatia. Grealish on the ball into Dele Alli. Goes back to Jack Grealish. Again, tackled by Luka Modric. Having an outstanding game, the captain for Croatia today. Playing really well. It's a ball over the top, looking to get in. It's headed back to Kovacic. And Croatia, uh, well, they're through again. Pickford's quick off his line. Claims the ball really well. And, uh, well, England have got a lot of stuff to work on here for their next game. It looks like this is going to finish 2-1, unless they can find a goal late on here. Ball out. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Can he get there and keep it in? He can. Swings across in, into the middle, looking for Rashford, it's beaten in the air, and it's headed away by Croatia, five minutes to go in this game, and England are working hard to try and get this goal, but it's Croatia on the counter-attack, and Petkovic is in, Maguire tries to keep him up, he squared it, surely it's another goal, and it is, it's 3-1 Croatia, what a counter-attack, and it's Ivan Pedersic again, with his second goal of the game, 3-1 Croatia, not the start England wanted in the Euros, that's for sure. It was a great counter-attack. They put a ball through to Petkovic. He squared it and Perisic with this time and space wasn't going to miss. A lovely left-footed finish. Jordan Pickford helpless again. Great ball through. Rashford released from Chilwell. Tries to square it. Oh, why didn't Dream Sterling shoot? That is such bad pro Evo not changing player nonsense. But a 3-1 loss. Not the start we wanted. I'll be honest with you. Not the start we wanted. That is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. They deserved it. They played better than us. And Scotland beat the Czech Republic. So, uh, yeah, we go into this, well, needing two wins pretty much from our last game, which is very annoying. And next up is Scotland. So here we are at Munich then for the next game, England versus Scotland. A big rivalry at the Fußball Arena München. And, uh, well, there you go. They're the teams in the, uh, in the tunnel. Henderson takes over the captaincy, although Harry Kane is still playing in this game. Just a change of captaincy. Only one change in the England lineup. Two changes, sorry, in the England lineup. Luke Shaw comes in at left back. And uh, Deli Alley is replaced by Harry Winks in midfield. So one Tottenham player for another. But uh, it should be a very interesting game because, well, it's, it's England, Scotland. We need to win. They've already won one game. Lose this game, and we're pretty much out. I would, we, we could be out, actually. If we lose this game. And Croatia beat the Czech Republic, as you would imagine they will. We will be out of the competition, because Scotland and Croatia will then both be on six points, and there's only one game left to play. So let's see how we get on in this game. We are the favourites. We are the heavy favourites when it's England v Scotland. But we don't always live up to that tag, do we? And there's England doing the national anthem. Lovely stuff. So here we go then. Scotland to get the game underway. Ollie McBurney starting out front, so you can imagine there'll be plenty of... Long balls like that, and England gain possession straight away. Ball through. It's a great ball through. Harry Kane just couldn't get his shot off. And uh, a good pass from Henderson, taking on the captain's arm man today. But here comes Scotland with Forrest on the uh, left-hand side. Good switch of play to find Ryan Fraser of Bournemouth. Andrew Robertson. Good ball in. In towards McBurney. Good header, though, from John Stones. And uh, England will look to counter-attack now as there's a high press coming from Scotland good pressure there goes into the box great block from John Stones it's an absolutely frantic game this there's a good win there from Raheem Sterling looking to play through Harry Kane caught on his toes a little bit not quick enough to react Jordan Henderson picks up a, a loose ball Harry Kane feeds it into Marcus Rashford who's just tackled well by O'Donnell Luke Shaw picks it up Cross is blocked. Rashford's underneath it but can't get there. Henderson picks it up. Tries a shot and it's a punch away. And Ryan Fraser will keep this one in play. Jordan Henderson getting involved in a lot of uh, good things for England now as Sterling feeds in. Harry Kane. Can he get there? No, he can't. Just overrun and O'Donnell again gets it away. 
And it goes forward to Ollie McBurney. Out wide towards Fraser. Gets a shot off and Pickford with a good save again. And uh, Scotland reminding England that they are here to play and it could be dangerous as Rashford goes long looking for Raheem Sterling. It's a header from Robertson, not the best defensive header. But uh, oh, Raheem Sterling oh, nearly nicks the ball. Damn it, Sterling into Kane. Kane holds up the ball, tries to give it back to Raheem Sterling, but it's cleared away. Oh, We're playing well, we just can't find that breakthrough. Scotland defending really well. Henderson looking for the breakthrough. Winks, Chamberlain, overlap from uh, Alexander-Arnold into Sterling. Back round, Luke Shaw. Tries to get away from his man, Rashford pulls wide. Luke Shaw using him as a dummy. Ball in, easy for the goalkeeper though. Not the best cross from Luke Shaw. Rashford, lots of space to turn and run into now. Tries to put it through. Sterling. Oh, just last ditch tackle again by the Scottish defence. They are holding firm. The old firm are holding firm. Sterling into Kane. Kane looks to turn his man. Feeds it in. Rashford gets a shot off. It's blocked. Harry Kane brings it down. Gets a shot off. Oh, top corner, Harry Kane. 1-0 right on the stroke of half-time. He puts it in. A ruthless finish from England's former captain. Stripped of the captaincy for today. But that's not affected his performance. Harry Kane into Rashford. Shot blocked. Kane used good strength to bring it down. And then volleys it into the top corner. A wonderful finish from Harry Kane. And that is 1-0. As uh, yeah, it flies in the top corner. And there is the half-time mark. Right on half-time. Harry Kane scored 48th minute. And Scotland will feel that their hard, good defensive work has been undone. But England in the driving seat at half-time. Second half gets underway. No changes for England and no changes for Scotland either. As uh, England look to double their lead. And Scotland will be looking to defend as they did before. As Raheem Sterling goes down the line. Holds on to the ball. Trent Alexander-Arnold puts the cross in. Looking for Rashford. Rashford with a header. Great save. And it goes behind from a corner. Lovely ball in from Trent Alexander-Arnold. It was here, Raheem Sterling just gave it back. He had loads of time for the cross. Picked him out. Went for Kane, but Rashford got there first. Lovely save. And it goes behind for a corner. It's going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold to take it. And he does. Fires it in. There's a header. Saved again from the goalkeeper. Jordan Henderson denied. A wonderful delivery from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Who's really getting into this second half now. Scotland still trying to play with the press and England are playing their way around it and Marcus Rashford is in! Marcus Rashford misses! A glorious opportunity and Marcus Rashford fails to make it 2-0 England. Luke Shaw here into Henderson, Henderson into Kane. Just flick round the corner, lovely touch. Rashford took his time and couldn't get enough bend on the ball. 1-0 still to England as uh, Burke comes on to replace McBurney for Scotland. As they blink first making a substitution, Rashford will pick that ball up. Harry Kane gives it back to Marcus Rashford. He's going to try and run at the defence, Marcus Rashford, going down the left-hand side. He's done really well. He's gone the long way around, but he's still going. Marcus Rashford tackled at the last minute, corner England. England make their first sub of the day as well. Sancho on to replace Raheem Sterling. Being kept pretty quiet today, Raheem Sterling. As an apple's fired in. Massively overhit, though, by Alexander-Arnold. Was going for Henderson at the back post, but got it all wrong. Scotland trying to play it around the back. This could be dangerous here. Robertson lays it back to Bates, who goes long, looking for Burke. And Harry Maguire goes up with him and... Wins the header. It's picked up by Henderson. England with some good passing. Trying to move the Scottish forwards around to create some space. But Trent Alexander plays that into his marker. And uh, now Scotland come forward with it. That's a good block on the ball though. There's a uh, good strength from the Scottish player there to hold off Rashford. It goes into Burke. Out to Forrest. Forrest with a nice little bit of footwork on the ball. Gets a shot off Pickford with the save. Goes behind for a corner. First corner of the game to Scotland. 1-0 England still. Good ball in. There's the header. Harry Maguire gets his noggin on it. His big noggin. And uh, it's cleared away. Rashford. Fooled by the drop of the shoulder. Good ball in. Cool header from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Goes behind again. Another corner for Scotland. They're mounting up. It goes. There's a whoa, challenge in the air there. And Sancho hooks it away. Again, not the best clearance. This is the best bit of pressure that Scotland have had in the game. McTominay. Trying to move it around. Still Scott McTominay. Harry Maguire has been forced into a left-back position at the moment. Absolutely done by Ryan Fraser as well. Good ball in. And there's a header and it's going to go behind for a goal kick. So second substitution of the game for England is uh, Deli Ali coming on 
to replace Oxlade Chamberlain in the midfield, just keeping the legs fresh in there. Yeah, I feel like we really need a second goal. Oh, a wonderful tackle that from, uh, so I'm not too sure who that was, but it was a lovely tackle from the Scottish player. Trent Alexander Arnold into Sancho, sees the run of Kane. Kane holds it up and gets Chilwell forward, uh, Luke Shaw forward, sorry, Luke Shaw, still going. He needs some help. He needs some help and there was none coming. There was none coming. And uh, Ryan Fraser now looks to break. And break Scotland have because they're up here with Oliver Burke as John Stones gets turned. Right, and Pickford's out well. Claims it really well, Jordan Pickford. Henderson up to Rashford. Rashford into Kane. Kane looks to spin and put it over the top for Sancho, but Robertson reads it. Oh, a bit of miscommunication from the goalkeeper there. But they hold on. As Harry Kane comes in. Uh, referee says play on. That definitely looked like a foul. Harry Kane keeps the ball just about. Last few minutes. We can just see out this game. We may not be able to get the second goal we wanted. But uh, it's been a decent performance. Four minutes of added time. Oh, that's a terrible pass from Rashford. Ball over the top. And uh, it's read very well. All the way back to Pickford. He can, if they're not going to press him, we can just waste our time and get the win. Because that's what it's all about. 1-0 England. Oh, bloody hell. This is hard. This is hard. Stones is happy. They get the win over the rival Scotland. It was a, it felt like a really close game. Uh, so we had six shots. They had four. We had more possession. We probably deserve the win. Harry Kane, man of the match. So we go second in the group. Czech Republic, who have just drawn with Croatia, is next. And... Uh, Wow, this is the final game of episode one and the final game of the group stage. We'll see you for kickoff. So England are back at Rome at the Stadio Olimpico to face Czech Republic in the final group game of UEFA Euro 2020 for them. Uh, England still need to win. They still need to win a crucial game going on between Scotland and Croatia at the same time as this one, which could, if England lose here and Croatia win, England will still go through, but they don't want to rely on that. They want to go out there and get the win. And a couple of changes in the England lineup today. Deli Alley's back in to replace Oxlade Chamberlain. Wan Basaka comes in for his first game of the uh, tournament at right back. And Jaden Sancho gets a start ahead of Raheem Sterling in this one as Harry Kane looking to make it two goals in the competition if he gets another one. Sancho there, Deli Alley, Harry Maguire. Harry Winks keeps his place in the lineup. Luke Shaw keeps his place in the lineup as well. Wan Basaka comes in at right back. John Stones, Jordan Pickford. And Jordan Henderson capturing the team once again. As the first half gets underway from the Czech Republic. And uh, you can see they're going to be... Well, they're, they're already out of the competition, the Czech Republic. So nothing to play for apart from pride. And pride has a lot to do in football. Harry Winks on the ball into Deli Alley. Goes back to Winks. Plays it around the corner to Sancho. Sancho into Kane. Kane into Rashford. Rashford with a shot. Took it early, took it first time, just past the post. Eight minutes in and England with the first effort of the game. Good football here, Sancho to Winks. Then it went back to Sancho. Kane laid it off to Rashford who got his shot off but not really troubling the goalkeeper. Skoda goes long with the goal kick, Harry Maguire wins it. Harry Kane brings it down but can't get past his man but he wins a free kick. Harry Winks into Jaden Sancho. Onto Harry Kane, looking to hold the ball up but tackled as he just tried to play the through ball through and uh, Winks is going to have to try and win the header. Deli Ali does win it. Gets it back. Harry Kane into James Sancho. Couldn't get his shot off. Defended well by the Czech Republic but they do know they have to win this game. Luke Shaw into Harry Winks. Good strength from the youngster to hold it up. Deli Ali. How it goes to Wan Basaka. Looks to, well, towards Harry Kane but wasn't the best of crosses. And it goes back to the goalkeeper who clears away. Wan Basaka underneath it. Wins the header. Jaden Sancho can't quite get there. Aragua comes out of defence. And Deli Alley goes to chase the ball. It goes long again from uh, the Czech Republic. And those long balls really aren't working for them. But they're still trying it. Great ball through from Harry Kane. Jaden Sancho finds himself in behind the defence. He's still going. Cuts it back. Marcus Rashford. Oh, he's in it straight at the goalkeeper. You can put it down as a good save. But really, it's a terrible miss from Marcus Rashford. Sancho picks the ball up into Harry Kane. Tries to turn, but crowded out Harry Kane. He's just not getting the space he needs to get that shot off. We saw what his shooting can do against Scotland. As uh, Luke Shaw picks up the ball, but it's a foul on Harry Winks. 
Czech Republic giving away a couple of free kicks here. Let's see what England can do with it. As uh, Winks picked up the ball, turned, laid it off. A little slightly late tackle, no yellow card, no malice. But a free kick nonetheless. And it's going to be Jordan Henderson looking to just uh, dink this one in. Flicked on by Deli Ali, but got his header all wrong. And it goes backwards. Czech Republic keep the ball. And again, they go long. And again, John Stones and Harry Maguire deal really well with it. Harry Kane. Try to feed it into Sancho round the defender, but the keeper's out, Pavlenka. Good save. Well, uh, well out, well quick. Quickly out the goalkeeper. Jaden Sancho getting on the ball a lot today. Sees the run of Harry Kane. Harry Kane could be in here. Harry Kane shoots. Oh, it's a good save again from Pavlenka. England are wasting these chances. Sage Sa Jaden Sancho has been dynamic in this game. Laid it into Harry Kane. Good shot off, but straight at Pavlenka. England missing the accuracy we know they can normally have. It's uh, Jordan Henderson on the corner. Fires it in. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in. Jordan Henderson. It's an own goal from Pavlenka, who's kept the Czech Republic in this game. Jordan Henderson fired it across the goal. And I thought it was going towards the back post for Marcus Rashford. But Pavlenka's palmed it into the top corner. Jordan Henderson takes the credit. He's absolutely rifled this across the goal. And Pavlenka's just palmed it in. An absolute nightmare for the goalkeeper. But England won't care. This is putting them through at the moment. Well, well, well. Harry Winks up to Sancho. Sees a run of Rashford. Rashford tried to feed it through to Harry Kane but couldn't get there. As uh, we're approaching half time. And the stats wise it's not looking good for England. Three games. Two goals. 1-0-G. One, one for Harry Kane. Need to sort out their strikers and their shooting. But at half time in this it's 1-0. And that should be seeing England through at the moment. Depending on results in the other games. If Scotland do beat Croatia... It could be problems for England, but this will be three points if they if the result stays like this. Not having a shot yet, the Czech Republic. It's all in England's favour. We'll be back for the second half. No changes at half time for England. None for the Czech Republic either. And uh, it's Aaron Wambasaka on the ball. Kicks it straight into the Czech Republic player in front of him, but England retain possession. Oh, no, they don't. It's a really poor back pass from Harry Maguire. And it goes off for a very cheap corner. To the Czech Republic, who also make a substitution as uh, Skoda goes off and is replaced. And I'm pretty sure Skoda's... No, Pavlink is their goalkeeper, isn't it? I was going to say Skoda's their goalkeeper. That's an early substitution in the second half for the Czech Republic. As uh, they're through here, still going on goal. Try to hold him off. Shot goes past the post. First shot of the game for the Czech Republic. Not on target. Aaron Maguire into Aaron Wambasaka. Not much on for him. Goes back to Harry Maguire. Plays it around. John Stones. Ben Chilwell giving Jordan Henderson a run. That's a lovely ball to find Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw crosses it in towards the back post. Header off the line from Havelenka. Rashford with a shot and it's in. 2 0 England. That should wrap up the game. It was a wonderful run and cross from Luke Shaw. Rashford gets his first goal of the competition. And it's his first goal today. And it's 2 0 England. Luke Shaw, good run down the left. Cross into the back post. Great save from Pavlenka, to be fair. Rashford reacts his quickest. Fires it in. 2-0 England, surely game over now. As you can see here, Luke Shaw puts it in. Great save from Pavlenka, that one. And then Rashford, it's a good save, and Rashford comes forward and absolutely leathers this one. Past the goalkeeper, couldn't react. 2-0 England. Oh, a poor, poor throw out from Pickford has given the ball straight back to the Czech Republic. And England are defending again here. Luke Shaw does well, but it's a corner kick to the Czech Republic. I've only enjoyed 40% of possession today. To be fair, we've played quite well. We have played quite well. Good header away. And we look to break. Rashford. Still going, Marcus Rashford. He's got Sancho running through the middle. Into Kane. Kane just couldn't. He got swarmed again as soon as he gets the ball. There's really nothing he can do. Played upfield. Sancho into Kane. Kane takes a touch into Sancho. Good little bit of skill. Lays it back. Rashford looking for Kane. He should have shot. He'll get another opportunity. Marcus Rashford. Great save. Pavlenka again. Sancho laid it in. Over to Rashford. Tried to give it back to Kane. Put it behind him. Had another go. Lovely save from Pavlenka there. Touches it past the post. Harry Kane is off to be replaced by Tammy Abraham. Henderson again. Over the corner. Fires this one in. And Pavlenka flapses it again. It's kept alive. Henderson. 
Ball in. Rashford's underneath it. It's headed away. Wan Masaka will keep it alive. Deli Alley. Harry Winks left footed, fancied a shot, but it's blocked. Pavlenka again flapping at a corner, not looking confident. Ambasaka looking for Sancho. Poor pass though, easily picked off by the defence. Good challenge though from Harry Winks, who's had a good game in midfield. And uh, Deli Ali comes forward, gives it off to Tammy Abraham. Good ball through, Henderson lays it off to Rashford. The pass wasn't the best, it was just behind him. And uh, the Czech Republic come forward again. They know now it's all or nothing. As it goes through, they've worked this really well. He's through and Czech Republic has scored 2-1. A late chance for the Czech Republic now. It's Schick with the goal. Makes it 2-1. Is it too late for the Czech Republic to get anything out of this game? They worked it really well. Some good passing through the midfield. Laid it back. Nice little give and go. Schick held off the defender of defensive winks. And uh, fired it past Jordan Pickford. Substitution then Sancho off. Raheem Sterling on for the final five minutes. Here come the Czech Republic again. Looking to really get something out of this game. Good tackle from uh, Harry Maguire though. Who then gives the ball away. But uh, they've managed to hold on. Raheem Sterling. Just keeps the ball. I think England still know if they win this game. They should be through. Unless a miracle happens in the other game for Scotland. Rashford picks the ball up. Good tackle though on him from the Czech Republic defender. But Rashford picks it up again. Still trying to drive through the defence. But is tackled as we go into the final few minutes. It's a poor pass. And uh, Deli Ali will pick it up. He becomes the beneficiary of it, but crowded out. And there's the full-time whistle, and the celebrations say it all. England are through to the knockout stages of Euro 2020, and that will be in the next episode. We'll just go and see who we've got and how the other groups finished. But Czech Republic's only shot on target was a goal, as Marcus Rashford gets man in the match. So England top the group after all of that, with a goal difference of zero. Four goals for, four goals against, two wins, one loss. They topped the group as Croatia and Scotland drew, which means Croatia finished second. I did not see that happening. Did not see that happening. As we go into the knockout stages now of Euro 2020, and the draw is Portugal. A very tough game. Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. That is going to be difficult. So knockout phases. We have Wales v Ukraine, England v Portugal, Belgium, Scotland, Germany, Sweden, the Netherlands, Italy, Spain, Croatia, Switzerland, Hungary, and Russia v France. Let's go and have a look at the group stages, see who else uh, got through. So we know England and Croatia went through. Spain and Sweden with Poland finishing bottom of the group below Kosovo. Germany and France and Portugal went through as the best, one of the best third place finishers. Germany and France going through that one. Switzerland and Wales topping Italy. Wow. Interesting Group A. Group B, Belgium and Russia go through. Netherlands, Ukraine and Hungary will go through in there. So a very interesting group stage draw. Um, at this stage of the competition as well, let's go and see. Top goal scorer is uh, Berghuis with for Netherlands. Lukaku for, uh, for Belgium. Saul and Suso for Spain. Uh, we only have Sterling, Kane and Rashford up there with one apiece at the moment. And in terms of assists, we have Oxlade Chamberlain up there with one as well. So we'll be back for episode two for the knockouts against Portugal. We'll see you then. Cheers.